can you tell us uh, about your journey here and what made you want to come and all that kind of stuff? Uh, shoot. So my journey started when I uh, entered the portal this past uh, in the winter. Uh, I just entered the portal, you know, just looking for new opportunities. I thought it was in my best interest to just look for somewhere else, you know, somewhere in the mainland, just play uh, in a Power 5 school, something like that. That's what I was looking forward to. And uh, UCLA showed up and it really, I took a lot of interest into that. Uh, I mean, it's UCLA, you know, the best public school education. And then uh, also I built a, a good relationship with the coaches. Uh, there were some coaches from Hawaii that I knew, Coach Molloy and Coach Chad. So I, I built a uh, close bond with them. And uh, I also got to meet uh, Coach Tripp. He, he's a great informative coach. He knows what he's talking about on both sides of the ball. So the, all of those were factors into my decision here. When you first, uh, you had the relationship with them during that recruiting process, but since the start of the spring camp and, and being here for off-season workouts and stuff, what's your first impression of them on the field as coaching staff? There you go. No, yeah, sorry. <laughs> okay. What was the question uh, again, sorry? Yeah, what was, what's your impression of this coaching staff on the field in terms of, since you've got here after that kind of recruiting stage? So the whole defensive coaching staff, they're all new to me. So mm -hmm. there's some new ones also, uh, Coach Chad and uh, Coach uh, Malloy. They came in and also our linebackers coach, uh, Coach Norton. So uh, they're very knowledgeable of the game. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. All the fun stuff. I yeah. am. <laughs> well, uh, going off of what I was saying, like, I just like to uh, pick their brains, you know, they, you know, they're, they're really informative and they know what they're doing. They've been around, uh, Coach Norton actually played here, he's, he was All-American, he went to the league, played there a long time. Uh, she's Coach Chad, Coach Kaika, you know, they, they know what they're doing. They know what they're talking about, both on uh, the defensive side and they know what the offensive, what they're running and why they're running, things like that. So uh, I, I really like to pick their brains and uh, just gain knowledge from them because knowledge is power. and. Uh, I really am a student of the game. I like to spend uh, time in the, in the film room, you know, at least half an hour every day. So things like that just really uh, help me to improve my game. As a new guy coming in, it can be hard because you're a lot of times you're walking into a system that guys have been in, but this is a new system. Does yeah. that kind of even the playing field a little bit? You guys are all kind of learning alongside each other? Yeah, I, th I thought that was pretty cool. You know, I didn't know that all the coaches were going to leave, our DC was going to leave, things like that. So. Just being able to come in here, pick up a new DC, a uh, new linebackers coach. You know, we're all on the same playing field. You know, there's no guys uh, first string, second string, third string. It's just everyone on, on the same level now. And, you know, you have to prove yourself every day and starting here at the day one of spring camp. So, you know, I really enjoyed that whole process and uh, I'm thankful for everything. Coming into a new team where your position is such a leadership position on a defense, um, how's that been for you just kind of taking on maybe a leadership role already um, as a new guy coming in? Uh, I've already been uh, kind of introduced to that, uh, you know, that whole leadership role. When you play the, the Mike linebacker, you know, you have to be the leader of the, the whole defense. That, the Mike linebacker is like the quarterback of the defense. So uh, I, I was already, I, I, it's nothing new to me. So uh, it's not, it's no cockiness, things like that. It's just uh, the role that you have to play uh, on the team, you know, whichever way to contribute to the team. And uh, that, that's what the Mike Backer does. He communicates, uh, you know, whether it's a run and pass, uh, little intention, little details that uh, the offense gives off that, you know, what kind of play they're going to run, things like that, and getting everyone, getting the D-line set up, making sure the whole DB, all the DBs know what coverage they're going to run, things like that. So, uh, so yeah, leadership is nothing new to me. Yeah, uh, Caleb Johnson into the transfer portal a couple of weeks ago. Have your responsibilities in terms of leadership and everything changed since he left, or is it still kind of the same as, as with the start of spring? Uh, I'd say it's the same thing, you know, I, nothing changes with me. I, I keep on grinding every day. I, I got, I play with a chip on my shoulder every day. I come to work, uh, you know, Caleb Johnson entering the time, uh, the transfer portal, that was unfortunate, but, uh, you know, nothing changed. My mindset's still the same. I attack the day, uh, every day the same way. So uh, I really just love playing the game that I love what, coming out every day. What do you think makes you so disruptive and just flying around and making plays the way you do? Uh, I would say just, uh, my film watch, you know, my knowledge of the game, you know, all the greats, like guys like Ray Lewis, Luke Keekley, you know, greats in the uh, in the linebacker core. Uh, they're great because of their knowledge of the game, because of, they're a student of the game and, you know, all the film that they watch, they know 
what place coming, when it's coming, uh, you know, there's maybe they, they might not be able to know what exact what exact play it is, but they're able to, uh, you know, just diagnose the formation that they're in, what uh, you know, what personnel they're in, things like that. So, uh, I think that's a uh, one positive to my game. I'm able to uh, just see what's going on uh, and direct my, my defense into, uh, you know, put them in the, the right position to make plays. Yeah, Coach McGovern coached uh, Luke Keekley at Boston College a while ago. Is that something that ever comes up when he's kind of giving instruction or anything? Does he kind of harken back to the players he's worked with? Or does Coach Norton do that? Or you talk about how much experience they all have in the NFL and across college? Uh, no, they're, they're humble guys. You know, they come from the NFL. They, you know, they're prestigious and they coach a, a bunch of greats here and there, but they never bring that up. They're humble guys and uh, they always try to coach us up to be, you know, be better than who they coach, you know. And uh, so, you know, like I said before, I just like uh, just picking up, picking up knowledge from them, and you know, I, hopefully I can, you know, make it to the league, things like that. So I, I really, I really uh, appreciate everything that they're teaching me. Is there anything specifically, maybe Coach Norton's already uh, gotten drilled into you, even in the short time? Uh, so one thing that he preaches every day, you know, is just to bring the same energy every day, uh, be aggressive, you know, be aggressive and attack the day. So that's one thing I, I, I you know, uh, I really implemented into my game at Hawaii, but now even more, he's just making sure, you know, be aggressive. No matter what you do, go 110%, uh, balls to the wall, you know, give it your all every play. You uh, played already at the Rose Bowl, right? So do you feel yes. like that's, uh, I know it's a small thing, but do you, it's kind of cool to know that you've already played at your new home. Yeah, so that, that was really interesting. You know, when I uh, played here at the Rose Bowl, I didn't know. I had no intentions of actually entering the portal. So I actually played there. I, it was a great atmosphere, you know. I mean, it's the Rose Bowl. No better place to play than the Rose Bowl. So, and now just being able to uh, know that that's my new home, that, geez, that that's just an awesome feeling right now. I can't wait to be in there again and see the stadium packed out with all the fans. Awesome, thank you so much.